गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज लाइक वॉट आर सम अदर इनपुट डिवाइस इन टू द कंप्यूटर सो लेट इज डिस्कस सम अदर टाइप्स ऑफ इनपुट डिवाइस विद इन द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम सो बेसिकली इन द लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस वन इनपुट डिवाइस दैट वज माउस सो होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड लाइक वॉट इज द एग्जैक्ट वर्किंग ऑफ अ माउस but i haven't discussed the, like how many types of mouse mouses are there and uh, what exactly the working of it means so uh, i haven't tell you <coughs> about uh, like three things within this mouse as uh, basically in the, in a mouse like if you see the mouse then in case of this we are having two buttons that is one left button and another one is right button and in between we are having one wheel so i'll tell you the working of these three so basically a simple mouse has three buttons the first one is the left button so why do we use this left button as you have uh, uh, worked with the, the mouse so with the help of left button we generally use to open any file to close any file and for minimizing any file or any icon so this is the basic working of the left button of a mouse and if we talk about the right button now just think about like what do you do with the help of the right button so with the help of right button what do we do with the help of this button we get to know about the work work done with these files and icons so like uh, for example there is one folder so uh, if you will click on the right button then what will happen with the help of this you can check different number of things like uh, properties is there like uh, at uh, like uh, when you have created that folder means different number of things you can know by clicking on the right button now the next thing which we have in a mouse is in a simple mouse is that one wheel so why do we use this wheel wheel is basically used to scroll the screen like if you want to scroll then you will use this wheel like this is one mouse so this is your left button and this is your right button and this is one wheel which is in the center point of a mouse and this is basically used for scrolling purpose hope this is clear now uh, how many types of mouse are there so as you very well know that in a market we are having wireless mouse but before that we were having one optical mouse and earlier when optical mouses were not there then we we have used uh, the mechanical mouse in which we have one ball like first one is mechanical mouse and the second one is optical mouse and the third one is wireless mouse so now you just uh, take a look of this mechanical mouse so hope you have seen this uh, mechanical mouse in which we were having one ball so uh, this was one of the disadvantage of this mouse like uh, most of the time this ball uh, comes out uh, with the, with this mouse so this is one of the uh, disadvantage of that mouse so that was not uh, very good uh, if uh, compare this optical mouse so this is the basic uh, mechanical mouse which were used earlier then after that we are having optical mouse which is generally used in nowadays so most commonly used mouse is optical mouse so we doesn't have any kind of a spherical ball within this so this is basically one optical mouse and after that we are having the wireless mouse means without wire and it is generally attached with the laptop so if you want to work with a mouse uh, and if you want to have one wireless mouse uh, to work with in your laptop then you can generally use this wireless mouse then come to the next uh, device that is like uh, keyboard has been done a mouse has been done then the next type of device that is web camera 
so if we talk about the web camera the web camera is what web camera is one input device which is called one camera also and that is used for capturing the image or the for for performing the video conferencing by connecting it to your computer or a laptop with another person so uh, you can connect a webcam to the computer through the wire or you can also use a wireless web camera even though we generally have one inbuilt webcam as you can see in your laptop also like in in case of laptop we have one inbuilt web camera but if you want to uh, like use web camera on your uh, personal computer on your desktop computer then you have to use one wired web camera Uh, so uh, this is one webcam which is generally used in a personal computer or a uh, or a desktop computer so this is basically a wired web camera so with the help of this what you can do you can take the and you can capture the image then you can see i think uh, you have seen this kind of web camera generally it is uh, used in the uh, in government offices you have seen i think like this is one other webcam but if you talk about the inbuilt webcam then you just check your uh, laptop screen like on the top of your laptop you just check like um, this type of webcam is being shown so this is what this is basically the webcam so uh, it is uh, in in case of laptop it is inbuilt basically so these all are the webcams and uh, with the help of which we generally capture the images and generally if we want to make any video or we want to talk with another person with the help of video call or the we want to perform video conferencing then for that purpose we generally use this webcam hope this thing is clear now uh, you just move uh, to the next input device that is the trackball so what do you mean by trackball trackball is uh, basically one input device so as generally we are discussing the input devices within the computer system then obviously we are discussing all kind of input devices within this computer system so trackball is one kind of input device which is used to enter the motion data into the computer or the electronic devices as the trackball looks like uh, the mouse or uh, mouse but it is designed with a movable ball on to the top so uh, uh, in uh, for example if we are having less space then in place of mouse we generally use trackball so this is one main point if you want uh, if you don't have enough space and uh, you want to like give direction to your computer then generally this trackball is used and uh, if uh, for graphic areas and for most of the graphic areas we generally use this trackball and uh, uh, in case of game games also we generally use this trackball so this looks like uh, one kind of a mouse like you can check one image also this is basically one trackball so in case of trackball we are having this ball with the help of which we can easily give direction to the computer so this is one of the advantage over mouse and this takes less uh, uh, area to move and this is one another kind of trackball but it comes under the trackball uh, device so it can be rolled this ball can be rolled in any of the direction and instead of moving the whole device uh, we simply uh, have to roll this movable ball onto the top of the trackball unit so this is one of the advantage of uh, uh, trackball then after that come to the next type of like i have uh, told you that it is generally used in games and uh, in graphic areas or mouse so i think uh, this point is also clear to everyone then after that we are having uh, one another input device that is touchpad so touchpad where touchpad obviously will come under the input device because with the help of touchpad you what we are doing you are giving like input to the computer you are selecting something you are 
giving direction to your computer like what you want to do with the help of this touchpad so basically a touchpad is an input device and for pointing uh, and we can say that it is a pointing device onto the computer display screen because in case of desktop computer we have one pointing device that is mouse but if we talk about the laptop then in case of laptop we generally don't have any kind of mouse so uh, in place of that we generally use this touchpad so we can consider this touchpad into one pointing device so it is an alternative to the mouse and it was originally incorporated in laptop computers so these touchpads are also being made for use with desktop computers and a touchpad works by sensing the user finger movements and the downward pressure means if uh, if i want to click on it then what will do obviously i'll give pressure or onto this touchpad so obviously the uh, these all things are measured by the by this touchpad so this was all about the touchpad of the uh, like computer or the laptop then after that the next type of uh, input device that is game controllers so uh, like you have seen that different different uh, at different different play stations uh, different number of game controllers are being used like joystick is used in most of the uh, in most of the game controllers joystick come and uh, another thing which is generally used for playing the games as game pads i think you have seen these game pads also and uh, joysticks so one by one we will discuss these two terms under the game controllers because game controllers will also come under the input devices because with the help of game pads what we are doing we are giving direction like if you have played video games on to the uh, game stations then hope uh, i think you have played with that uh, game pads it looks like this so uh, most of the uh, most of the uh, game pads looks like this and uh, why do we use this game pad as uh, this uh, game pad is having two hands where the fingers are used to provide the input so they they are typically the main input device for video game console this is for this is the left hand and this is the uh, right hand with the help of these buttons and with the help of these two hands what we do we just give input to the uh, like uh, game controller and to the computer which is attached to that video game so this is uh, basically the game pads so this come under the input device then after that this is one other kind of game pad then after that the joystick so joystick is again uh, it is one kind of input device and uh, as you can see that uh, in case of joystick we have one stick this is basically one stick so this is basically one stick that pivots on a base that is pivot on a base this base and it reports its angles or the direction to the device what it is controlling so this uh, joystick looks like this and this is also used in uh, game controller so i hope you have uh, cleared like uh, why these all kind of devices comes under input devices and how do we give the input with the help of these input devices so till then you just learn these devices thank you everyone thank you so much